Hello, 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 and welcome to the TTS podcast. Uh, I'm going to sleep. I am your host, Taimago, and your co host, James Bond6926. Your editor at large, Known Issues. And the other guy. We don't even know why he's here. But I'm a- yeah, that's a very good question. I never start by introducing myself, do I? So, who are you again? I don't know. I just got picked up off the street. Nom, 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 like a cheap hooker. Anyway. He's the random guy on the street. <laughs> um, Venom. Venom, Venom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, busy stuffing my face with a cheese sandwich right now. Yeah, a little fat. Once more, we've uh, come to you with a packed show uh, full of uh, offerings. And so, why don't we just get started? Uh, how about a little, what have you been playing, people? What have you been playing, James? <laughs> I have been playing Hawkin, 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 and more Hawkin. And uh, Hawkin, Hawkin out for you. <laughs> oh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Definitely <laughs> loving it. It's a fun game. Uh, it is a fun game, even though you're losing, it is still fun. Um, you it's not a really hard game. You know, you don't have to be that good at it to get anywhere, as long as you got some good partners that know what they're doing. It's definitely a team game. It's a shooter. The basics is that it's a shooter that where you're walking around in these mech suits, um, and uh, down, uh, they have these kind of interesting, slight different objective-based uh, things as well as a uh, free-for-all type. Uh, um, Deathmatch and team deathmatch. Four different modes. It's an independent game. Uh, Venomenon pointed out to me that it's by a little producer. Um, it started out with five guys doing the artwork and stuff. And evidently, I read a little article today about how they produced it was not to say what is the coolest thing that we could do with our abilities. Instead, they, they said what is the what is the only few things that we can do? <laughs> Be, uh, we being so few, uh, so such a small group. And that's really the best way to look at it. Eh? That is the best way? Yeah, it, it, it is one of the best ways. To, would be a really good way to develop a game. Start yeah. with what you can do. Yeah, it's very. it was practically produced. And what they said to themselves was, well... A previous game that they had almost done, these are experienced guys, they don't know all their names and so forth, but obviously this information is out there on the web, but the pith of it is that they had done a a fantasy-based game, which never got off the ground. And uh, one of my fine researchers here will tell you what the name of that game is, maybe if they're extremely good. But in any case, um, but but what they concluded was Science fiction is easier. Why? Because you can reuse the same assets and people don't question it. If you put the same crumbling tower four, five, six, twelve times in a fantasy game, people are like, oh, Jesus, this is just a hack job. But you can get away with that in futuristic settings. Not 100% why that is, but that was the reasoning. The other thing was that um, making like anatomical things move around is a lot harder than making you know, mechanical things move. So that was another... Yeah. Plus, the guy loved bots. Anyway, um, but what this amounted to is... And then, so what they did is they produced a video, and the video blew up um, on, 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 the, on the air, on the public, in the public sphere. They got like two million views or something. And they got all kinds of offers from different large, you know, from different uh, game companies. And they eschewed these offers and instead got $10 million of capital. $10 million. That's um, it's amazing we're talking about an indie that starts with $10, $10 million. There you have it. And, um, you know, kind of did it themselves. I don't know how large their staff got to be. Uh, but it, it is gorgeous. Uh, or it is, I don't know if it's gorgeous. It, it's, it's really, it's just really competently made. It's very smooth. Like James says, you can get right into it pretty quickly. It's not quite as, um, you know, it's just not as fussy as other shooters. 
if you're not on your game, if you're not really trying in PS2, you'll just get owned. It doesn't matter how much experience you have. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're not, like, you know, and it's like the minute you're getting hit, you're dead, and it's just a much more t touchy kind of thing. Um, this, you can be outside of cover a little extra time and still get away with it. And it's, it's also an interesting game on that score where you'll be... You know, you'll be starting out, and you'll be the worst in the in the game, and you figure, okay, you know, I have to train up. It's a shooter, and um, I guess I'll suck for a while, and then maybe not too long afterwards, you're the best. Yeah. Or you're 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 leading the leaderboards here and there, so and, your your abilities kind of rise and fall. It's and it supports cool. all all different kind of uh, people that the types of ways of playing it. Like you know, if you're a balls to the wall, get out there get in your face type person you can go and do that and be semi-successful semi or if you're one of those people you know hide around corners you know sneak in and out you, you can be successful with that or if you're just the type of person that sit in one spot and camp well you you can be successful with that also so it supports a, a variety of gameplay um, characteristics yeah yes indeed we're talking about Hawkins still um, <coughs> Yeah, no, it's a good round-based shooter. It's recommended. It's a free thing. I've also noticed that the paid-to-win thing doesn't seem very strong. And also, I haven't put a dime into it, and I've leveled up all of these characters. So, um, we're getting heckled in the chat. This doesn't seem right. I know, right? Fire say... your own <laughs> host at that. <laughs> Why would you say that? I've got to say... <laughs> Um, our, host, our host, I've never seen Johnny Carson feigning sleep while one of his guests is talking. Okay. <laughs> it's all I have to say to you. That felt good. Or anyway. Dave, Dave. Anyways, another game that I... I See, know, Luna, know, know. Luna thinks it's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. We have content to put forward. Yeah. See, another game that I've been playing James. to, you know... You ask, hang on, I haven't said my part on Hawking yet. You One haven't thing. even fucking played it enough, so yeah. Um, I played it well <laughs> before you did. Thank you very much. I was in closed beta. I knew about yep. this way. Hey, it's another beta. Thank Thanks you enough. very much. So anyway, um, the thing that I love most about Hawkeye is the fact you got a big heavy machine that feels heavy, that shoots heavy, yet is amazingly. How do you say? I it can dodge. It can dodge really well. You got a jetpack on some of them. You got little jet boosters. Um, yeah. You can do little dashes. But at the same time as being rather maneuverable in this big, massive machine, it still feels heavy. It's like the, the way oh, yeah, they've done it just works so well. Especially but, when you when you're walking with it, right? You're walking along and you hear the. <laughs> yeah. When you, you know you get, against the wall, you yeah, hear. Oh, I was uh, just gonna like say iron, that. Or like, what is that? Metal on metal. Yeah. What would it be? Steel on steel, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. You're walking exactly. You walk by a wall a little too close, and you. That that is another awesome part about it. Uh. So uh, there we have it. I too have. I I'm, I back you up. I've been playing tons of Hawking. Um. Yeah, what can I say? It's it's a good little... It's a great little shooter. Yeah, it is. And it's free to play at that. So, um, what else have... I'll, 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 I'll piggyback from there. What else have I been playing? Do, 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 do. Think, think, think. Um, not much. Oh, well, yeah, I mean... COH, does anyone really want me to remind me them that I've been playing COH, that eight-year-old game? I have. COH... I have been no. joining you a few times. Yeah, that's true. It's awfully uh, phenomenon. Turns out to be uh, quite good at picking up that RTS, in spite of his uh, his force his tendency to say that he is not. Um, yeah. Coh is Company of Heroes. Yes, Company of Heroes, uh, and C Company of Heroes Two is coming out, but more on that in the news. When we do the news. <laughs> yeah, we so, do the news now. I don't really have much else. Oh, 
I will mention uh, Memoir 44, another free-to-play game. This is an adaptation of a board game that's based on World War II. It's a very simple mechanic uh, that kind of you use one board and you change some of the hexes around and it allows you to set up different scenarios from World War II. It's all based in the history, like, oh, I want to play something from the Ardennes, or, oh, I want to play something from the invasion of Normandy, or, oh, let's, let's do something from the Eastern Front. Um, all of the expansion packs are there. It's pretty easy to play for free. It's just a simple game. It's a lot of dice rolling. The, it, there's dice and cards. So you're kind of, um, you know, it's a turn-based dice and cards kind of thing. And it's fun for all the reasons that those kinds of games are, which is that you're hanging on every roll. And if you play against a friend, it's like, kill him! It is fun. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so there you have it. Um, check out Memoir 44 online. Eventually, there's a way that they, they, you have a diminishing amount of um, points that you can use to play these games, and then eventually you might want to buy some more points so that you can play more, but um, it's a pretty good model for free. Um, and that's it. What have you been playing well, what else, the another thing that I've been playing, I was actually playing it today again, is our Far Cry 3. Oh. Um, got back into that a little bit and started enjoying it again. Actually thinking about redoing missions and whatnot on a harder level. I, uh, when I can be arsed to, I'm going to do a full stream from start to finish all the way through Far Cry 3 on whatever the hardest difficulty is. That'll be fun. I'm probably going to end up shooting myself during that stream, though. <laughs> Hooray! Wait, what? Oh, I forgot. I forgot about uh, um, Payday 2 that I was also... Payday, not Payday 2, that we've been yes. playing together. We have streamed that. Yeah, wonderful. we streamed some Payday. Yeah, you can also see it when is wonderful and wrong. brutal. Yes, when streaming goes wrong. Oh, Do not use... Brilliant. What was the... Uh, what was the the uh, program? Oh, uh, open, 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 open broadcast streaming. Ah, uh, yeah, up. open broadcasting software. I think it is OBS. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, uh, yeah. it looked beautiful as long as I stood oh, still. Oh, it does. It does beautiful stills. I must give it that. It does be better, better quality stills than this program that we're using now, XSplit. But uh, when it comes to movement, yeah, look out. <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah. horrible. It you're looking like, like you're it, looking like you're using a thirty-year-old computer to play a freaking ten-year-old game. <laughs> yeah, it looked like I'm taking a shit in my screen. Oh, it did. Just horrible. Mm, blah 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 blah. So crap, sue me. Okay, I will see you. You'll be hearing from my lawyers, Mr. Adam. Anyway, um, what have I been playing? <coughs> I don't think I've played that's anything. The, other that's than the payday. video in question here. When streaming goes wrong. Yeah. You okay. Don't see it, uh, what, you continuing with our what you playing? What do you got, to emo girl? What you been playing? Yeah. yeah. Um, huh, what have I been playing? I've been playing payday on the stream. And, um, payday on the stream, because we did it more than once, I think. Oh, no, wait, we only did it once. Well, we streamed it twice. One is the... Uh, the video on. that is yeah. linked. Oh, Guns gone. of Icarus. Uh, yeah, me and you guys... the nom the nom played Guns of Icarus in the stream. Uh, good Dark game. Templar. At Dark Templar. I'm yeah. surprised he's not in here right now. And uh, I've got to say... That game is pretty damn wonderful. You should see that stream. It was brilliant. Uh, as soon as you first get into a game, bear in mind that it's the first time I've ever played it, I got a kill! I was like, awesome. And then um, I kind yeah. of commandeered the ship and uh, stole point of captain, even though I'm only level 1 and I have no idea how to fly the damn thing. It didn't go too <laughs> badly, though. It was fun. Well, yeah, I think I, I think I dropped connection or something there. Yeah, normally I was flying. Huh? Where? And, what? You know, these no, idiots you left. trust me flying. You just <laughs> left. You were like, oh, okay, I'm gonna leave now. See ya. No, no, that was because my mouse died. Yeah. Yeah, I'm my mouse violently dies. The house. 
Uh, so, very good. Uh, what's your plan, Venomenon? What am I playing? Well, I've been playing a shitload of Binding of Isaac, as per usual. Um, Borderlands 2, I've been getting back into that. That's a fun game. Some of you guys need to get it co-op, and, and that way we can co-op. That would be wonderful. Um, Company of Heroes, as no one mentioned. Uh, as prior mentioned, Guns of Icarus. Plenty, plenty of planet side. That's where we talk about that every week. And what? the interesting one that we have yet to mention is Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program. Oh, you've been playing that? Yes, I believe you've played that. Yeah, uh, I got it on Steam. Uh, well, I actually bought it before it came to Steam, but I transferred it to Steam. No, no, see, um... I yeah, I think it. we got a few Kerbal Space Program lovers oh, in chat. Yeah, Luna streams that, and uh, I've heard a bit about it from her. I've not played it yet. I've had it sat there for a while. I'm not going to play it until I live stream it. And from what I hear, it's rather complicated, so it's probably going to go terrible at first. That is, a, that is definitely a kind way to put it. Yeah, I don't play much... <laughs> I don't. I, I haven't played much, but um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun just making rockets and blowing them up. <laughs> One question: When I first start it, am I gonna fuck up real bad without knowing anything that I'm doing? Oh yeah, that you should will be fuck up fun up. for the viewers. <laughs> As Luna says, yes. <laughs> so and we and now so, I'm going to go play that. So Kerbal Space Program has to do with. Starting your own space program, like you're you, you're running NASA. Basically, it, it, it's like you build a rocket, and then you try to launch that rocket into space, and you see, and then you have to build the more awesome, and then you just keep building these more and more awesome rockets. See what works. See what doesn't work. It's got the whole. It's a lot of experimentation. Responsible for tasks including mission planning, rocket design. Uh, you just. Build a rocket and then launch it. <laughs> no, you've also got to get um, satellites up into a proper orbit, making sure it doesn't come yeah. back down and get destroyed. You, you've you, got can, drones. you can do the satellites. You can. I think they've added rovers. Yeah, no formal objective. Rover I'll play much a sandbox game. Off the Steam page here, on the store page of it, it says Kerbal Space Program is a multiplayer engineer game where players create their own space program in KSP. Wait, does it say it's multiplayer? Multi-engineer, or whatever. Uh, doop doo you must build space-worthy crafts capable of flying your crew out into space yeah, that's without what killing uh, them. <laughs> at, <laughs> that's a hard part. At your disposal is a collection of parts which must be assembled Mul to create a functional ship. Multiplayer would be really Single cool. Single player only. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, anything what you're playing-ish that uh, we haven't covered? Oh, uh, to buy it? Um, uh, should we watch the trailer? Luna just posted it. And uh, not on the stream. No, I don't think so. All right. I mean, in our... Free while, Luna. It's cool. It's very cool, but it's um, a lot of s long stills and so forth. So, very good. Um, all right, now on to the news. Um, I farted, it. apparently. Very good. Um, of course. <laughs> all right, so course, now for the legitimate news. Of course, you know, everybody that's got a Steam knows there's a bunch of Steam specials. Um uh, while you guys yak away about something here, I'll look through and maybe name a couple of ones. Right. Well, for me, it's sort of like it's it's like the week of all my favorite, like all the super hardcore central games, like the like the legend games are all making a new appearance this week. Funny enough, uh, Civilization Five. Civilization 4 is the legend. I'm not, I've, I've kind of stopped playing right from the beginning after... Uh, what was his, what's his name? Quick? Um, oh, shit. What's his name? Um, anyway. Uh, so w w We found out that the game could not play. We got... So, 
to, to review, Civ Five comes out, and suddenly we have combat in a way that we never had. It was always the stack of doom in Civ Four, etc. Um, but the the sad part was that the AI didn't know how to play, uh, how to use the combat system, and therefore it was kind of worthless. Civ Four Civ has never been traditionally a multiplayer game, but evidently that's changing in Civ Five. Anyway, I fell off the map with Civ, which is very sad. It's my favorite game. Um, and never really played much Civ Five, but there you have it. In any case, um, since then they've come out with two expansions. The first one was Gods and something. Gods nope. and Kings. Gods and Kings. And, and uh, now it's Brave the, New World. Brave New World, exactly. Which uh, uh, and because of that, there is a. It is free to play for another. Oh, I don't know, twelve hours or perhaps twenty-four. So, if you want to rush out and take a look at what Civ Five looks like right now, the big question, and I put it to the group, is: Does this does this Civ Five Forbidden Worlds does that include the previous expansion? So you no. Say, no, okay, that's a big bummer. So, evidently, what you download there is Civ Five, just that, and not well, okay. So there you have it. Anyway, I was taking a look at that, um, but it's free right now. Uh, the other thing is, see, uh, we just talked about Company of Heroes, the great legendary RTS. Now, COH2 is coming out, and that is free to play for nine uh, days. for another like nine days or yeah. something. Yeah. So that's just incredible. Um, and no one is now will like hunt you down if you don't download that. Download <laughs> that and play. Get ready to hunt me. <laughs> Enough. Huh? I'm, I'm just be, looking through the specials there. There is on my sites. A whole the, crap third, load. the third big franchise that had something recently released, and evidently it happened suddenly, was uh, Sins of a Solar Empire, the other great, you know, massive space-based turn, uh, real-time strategy game that kind of poses as a 4X which is probably not the case. It's just a really, 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 really big um, RTS with a great, great interface. Maybe the best interface in real-time strategy games. I said it. I'll stand by it. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, that they just came out with uh, uh, um, some new content for five bucks. I don't even know what it's called. Forbidden Worlds. And um, it uh, doesn't have a lot of new units, but it has a little bit, like, new artifacts to find, a couple new maps. It's pretty light, but nonetheless, it's another excuse to go back to Sins. Another, and that's been around for God knows. When did Sins first come out? Um, it's one of those franchises that just sticks around. It's, it's kind of like TF2. It just it stays alive forever uh, with l new injections of content that keeps the core strategy or the core gameplay which was so freaking awesome and to start with keeps it you know fresh so three great franchises and for a total of five bucks you can play all of those right now um because this the sins of the solar there is no freebie there but uh hey it's five bucks wait sins of the solar empire is five bucks no the expansion I guess I understand that you have the old, the old one. Damn it. The red, I, I, I was just, I'm like, what? But now, I, I would have bought it right here on the stream. Yes, of course. Um, someone in our cast said there's going to be another Sims you steer. Oh, uh, good Lord, shoot me. No more Sims. Kill all the Sims. <coughs> the last one nope. was shit. I couldn't even kill the Queen. Is there any other news <laughs> worth mentioning, uh, or or um, do you want to take it, James, with uh, some of the some of the specials that we might want to know about? Well, the specials I found a lot of Satan's Row, a whole Saints crap row. of Satan's Row, Satan's Row, whole ton. Um, I don't know if you're into the roller coasters, roller coaster tycoon on for twenty nine ninety nine, but that's not really marked down as a special. Uh, Satan's Row the third, seventy five percent off. Saints. Saints Row, yeah. 
Satan's one of the thinking. But anyway, Sid's Mirror Civilization Five is on sale now for seven forty nine. Yeah. And the other big news is I just blew up horribly. He just blew up horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than that, there's just a lot of there's a lot of games. There is eighty four on the special page here. Um, a lot of them that doesn't interest me too much, but uh, definitely if you're on Steam, check them out. Could be some games that you uh, enjoy. Steam does a uh, good job at throwing up a shit ton of specials every weekend. Where do you click on specials on Steam? Top um, sellers? Oh yeah, your, just in the middle column, sort of halfway down the page. Fair enough. Yeah, in your in your Steam under your store page, where you go to buy your games, just scroll down to where you usually go through the games where it's new releases, top sellers coming soon, and then there's specials, and you just click on that and scroll away. So, who likes yep. breasts? And apparently, Payday <laughs> Two is going to be coming out. When is it? I mean, you know, does it say? Get to the page. Um, so, to summarize for those interested in Civ Five, you can get the, the Gods and Kings together with the main edition, if you do the math, sort of. It's 20 bucks. About 20 bucks. Yeah, it's on sale it's, right now. They're both 75% off, so that amounts to 20 bucks. And then you can spend another 30 bucks if you want. You know, another thing that turned me off of Civ Five. um... That made me a little less inclined to get involved and give it a second chance, although I really should. You know, I, again, Civ Four. I'm one of the people that puts that down as the the, mo the you know the most important game for them, or maybe one of the best games ever, best experiences playing games ever. Um, partly just the forum interplay and everything. Man, what a game! Uh, it's it's definitely one of those deep, rich games that you. You know, if you're ready to spend your life on it uh, a little bit, and maybe yeah. we're moving away from that model. Actually, uh, the Civs Five is seventy-five percent off, seven forty-nine currently. Right, but if you kind of combine that up with the, uh, the Civ Five Gold with the uh, Gods and Kings, you can get all of those two. Well, whatever, you can get those two together for twenty bucks, and then. But the other reason was um, that they just kept asking you to pay for more shit. Um, they were hitting you hard with the DLC bullshit. Um, like, you want another civilization? Okay, here's 99 cents. Oh, you want another? Here's 99. You know, and you just countless civilizations. At some point, where is the core game anymore? Um, you know, with all of these additions, you're just like, well, isn't there a game that you wanted to sell me in the first place that's really good? Wh which one is it? Because now there's so many different versions because you keep asking me to pay, pay for more. I don't know. That's uh, that's the way it, it, it came off to me. I don't know. I mean, who likes DLC, really? <laughs> uh, um. So, um, other news, any news, no news is good news. <laughs> um, Payday 2 coming out August 2.13. Um, Pre-order now for $29.99. If anybody's interested in Payday, it's definitely the first one is definitely a fun game. Dude, would want to play a stupid game like that. Huh. What are you laughing at? Your face! Uh, it is laughable, isn't it? Uh, yes. Um, hmm. Primal Carnage. <laughs> Primal Carnage. Yeah, I have yes. to apologize to the viewers. Sorry, viewers, uh, that are mostly non-existent. But um, hey, we actually have viewers this time. Yeah, we talked about Dino D Day uh, a little while yeah. back, and I mentioned pterodactyls. I mixed it up with Primal Carnage. Primal Carnage is the one where you get pterodactyls, and you get to pick people up, fly really high, and then drop them to the deaths. And there's yeah. one particular map which is really fun. I just kept landing on a big rock, wait until I saw people, swoop down, pick them up, and then fly over this little chasm which has a river in the bottom and drop them down over and over and over. And I've got to say, that was the most fun I had on that game. Playing as a T-Rex kind of sucked because you just die too quickly. The only problem that I find with that game, because it is really fun and it's awesome to be able to be, like, 
all the different kinds of dinosaurs and just rip people apart. But they have a huge problem in the mechanics of, I can't say just shooting, um, I don't know what you'd call it with a dinosaur, biting maybe, yeah. however you attack. Uh, attacking. <laughs> yeah, you point to where you would expect you should attack, and then you click the left mouse button to attack, and it completely misses. It's really floaty in the actual mouse control, and it makes it really difficult to actually hit anything, whether you're a human or a dinosaur. The only other yeah. problem was uh, flying around as a pterodactyl. Every now and again, it just decides to stop flying, and you fall to your death. Yes, pterodactyls. No, can't, can't. no shit, I only have one wing. I can't good. remember if you, when you played as humans, if you were playing third person or first person. First person. Um, the, the yeah, first person with the humans, but third person with the dinosaurs. Yeah, the most hilarious part, though, of playing with the dinosaurs, pterodactyls, I kid you not, a, a winged dinosaur takes falling damage. Yeah. It takes fucking falling damage. Oh, yeah. It's a dinosaur with wings. <laughs> but then again, you know, if it fell off of a thing, it didn't fly, it would get killed too. Yeah, maybe it didn't right itself on the way down. <laughs> well, he's a fucking stupid dinosaur then. It's a, he's had <laughs> well, maybe he's the person he playing a, him, it's even dumber. He's, no, he's had a wing since he was a little baby, he should know how to land. <laughs> stupid well, dinosaur, maybe he was drunk. Oh, look! No. Oh. Uh, ah, you could talk about a little bit of Terraria, Jess. Anything new in the IRC? Um, but, by the way, if yeah. anyone's wondering why I'm just randomly chuckling, it's because I'm trying to fly a jet in Kerbal Space Program and failing miserably. I hope you die. Um, oh, trust me, my Kerbals have died many a time. Oh, I didn't mean Kerbals, nope. I meant nope. you in real life. Anyway, uh, oh, Terraria. Oh, I might, I might, nope. So many updates nope. to yes. come, so many beautiful updates. Not really much to and say. At the now. moment, Redigit yep. is gone on vacation, so there won't be any more spoilers for a little while, and the development is kind of paused, but it's for a very short time, and it'll most likely be out end of next month, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, I'm truly flying upside down, damn it. Good for you. Uh, what was I going to say? Thanks for that, you put me right off. Bastard. <laughs> Something about the Terraria. Oh, yeah. Uh, a game <laughs> that's coming out soon, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but I've looked into it a little bit here and there, and uh, it's got TIY, the original um, graphics designer for Terraria. He's working on it, and it's Starbound. In fact, I I've shown it to you before, James. Have any of you guys heard of Starbound? Mm. I don't know Starbound. Yes, I've ever heard of it. It's basically it, the, the best way from what I've seen so far. There isn't much there. It's still in very early development, not out yet. Um, but the best way I can describe it is Terraria on Magic Mushrooms. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about it at the moment. It's Terraria on Magic Mushrooms. It looks uh, pretty much identical style game, except the graphics are obviously different. And your characters actually look a lot more human and cartoony. And it looks pretty cool, but it looks like it's going to be completely insane, so... Hmm. It will be interesting. It isn't very early development. Well, how far in development is it? I mean, corrected by a viewer. Because from what I've seen of it, there isn't, like, a great amount there, or at least they're not showing it off. <laughs> complete in some aspects, and some parts aren't complete almost at all. Is there, um, an estimate as to when it will come out? Does it... Roadmap. Oh. Let's see if this tells us. Not... Uh, what the hell? Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, 
Okay, well, uh, link is just being posted in the chat to show what's been done and what hasn't been done. In quite a lot of detail, in fact, so I'll actually throw that in the uh, description when this goes up on YouTube, so if anyone wants, you can check it out. Oh, I just thought of something. What's that? A little bit of news for the people that might be viewing might not pay attention too close we are at our 34 viewer uh, followers we only need one more follower for our random follower game giveaway don't say that we've got someone new and he's gonna follow us now and then we're gonna have to give out a game ah but we didn't say we do it as soon as we got it oh ooh, 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 ooh. read the small print bitches yeah uh, look at that, you, you made him press the follow button. He should have been following us before anyway, asshole. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like this week we are going to start giving out games then. Oh dear, Jesus. I'm flying! <laughs> are you? Um, what mushrooms did you eat? All of them, and I'm playing Kerbal Space Program using a jet. Hmm. So you eat a whole bunch of magic mushrooms and then play Kerbal? That sounds like a bad idea. On the contrary, it's quite a wonderful. I feel so oh, for shit. your Kerbals. Um, PC, you need to refresh to see um, new followers. Yeah, that's what I just did, and it is, he is correct. 35 followers. So congratulations to all you followers that has followed us. Sometime this week we will make the pick of the random follower and we will get a hold of you um, to give you the mm -mm. or gather the information that we need. Uh uh. What? No, 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 no. It's not going to be a random follower. It's going to be a random viewer that's viewing the stream at the time. A random viewer? Yeah, they need to be in the stream when it's happening and it will sort out the bot and the bot will pick someone completely at random and then that person will get a random code. We've got several games to give away so whatever game you get it's picked at random so if you bitch about it I'll just tell you to fuck off. Well it should Love be a random well, should be a random viewer that is a follower. You don't need to be following I don't care about that. <laughs> That's how you get views. People look to see how many people are following you, and they go, oh, it must be a good show. Along with the views. Huh? What? I missed that. <laughs> oh, I'm getting messaged on Skype, and it probably, probably to message me quickly so it wouldn't make the sound on the fucking stream. I'm gonna fucking... Yeah. Anyway. Tell them to message you on Steam. You know you have them on Steam. And it doesn't make noise. Doesn't it? Message me on Steam. I want to see if it makes a noise now. It does make a noise, doesn't it? Anyone? With Steam, you can just mute. Yeah, but something... I'm yes. looking for it. Um, did no one die? Yeah, it does make a noise. I'm here. I knew it did. I didn't hear it. Oh. Mine doesn't make noise anyway. Yeah, you must have turned it off. I keep mine on. Anyway. So I will be doing the Far Cry stream. I've got the Kerbal stream to do. What was the other one? Um, did you said all that space program. Yes, thank you for that. I do know how to mute things. That's not messaging Wait, me. Really? Um, what was I saying? Your Kerbal Space Program, you said you're also going to stream. Oh uh, yeah, there's something else I was going to stream. I can't remember what it was. One of the things that I'll definitely be needing though is... Oh, you said shortly we will be streaming some Blacklight. Yeah, but that's a uh, multiplayer thing at the moment. I'm mentioning the uh, single-player ones that I'm going to do all the way through. 
start to finish each one in one sitting. Um, we've got don't, Thomas don't was alone. Button. Thomas was alone. Tom was uh, alone. Oh yes, he was. Thomas was alone. He was. He was quite. You have a really good narrator voice, no? Thomas. And we said we were going to be We already got a Yeah. Uh, QBE, quick understanding of block extrusion cube, amazing game, very portal style. And Limbo. If none of you have heard of Limbo, I suggest you go look it up because it is amazing and beautiful. And What's it then you'll shoot yourself. What does it cost these days? Limbo. Limbo, you wait until the summer sale and you'll get it for dirt cheap. Yeah. Um, yeah, just check out a loot. You, if you haven't seen it, check out a YouTube uh, video <laughs> of it. It's just a blessing. Six ninety nine right now, so around ten dollars. The art style is just so cool, and it uh, it is said that the gameplay is a good match. It's a brilliant game. It has absolutely no dialogue. It, it's got no talking and no captions or anything. You don't read a single thing throughout the entire game. And yet it manages to tell a full story. But I've played it about three times all the way through and I still don't get exactly what the story is, but I know it's there and it's a good one. I just I haven't quite understood it. I think it's because each time I played it through I haven't really paid too Aren't much. Are you trying to help out your sister or find your sister or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, she she's stuck in limbo and you gotta rescue her, but I'm not quite sure. It's stuck. a hostile world for the little delicate ones. Is it is um oh, I remember the first time I saw one of the people trying to kill you I was like that guy's a douchebag <laughs> somebody should shoot him so yeah for your viewers that are out there um, keep checking in with us on our podcast we will be doing a lot more giveaways now that we reached our thirty five follower mark we will have new and new ways of giving away games so. Uh, if you want a chance to get a game, come check us out as much as possible. Also, note um, that each time, uh, each day, we'll announce that in random. So just keep following us. Whenever we go live, jump in. There may be a giveaway that day. There may not. But each time we do a giveaway, and um, there may be certain requirements for you to win one. These will change each time. Sometimes it will just be a random uh, giveaway from whoever. Is viewing sometimes it means it's funny emo on it how many views we have at the time stuff like that and invites yeah and we might do little competitions we might even invite a few viewers onto the stream and have them battle it out and whoever wins gets the game mm-hmm that'd be kind of fun a little blood bowl I got a kind of idea there's a lot of uh, terraria people out there oh, um, Lord, no. terraria is one of the <laughs> one of the games that we have to give away, but um, we could do a little, you know, uh, Terraria PvP battle tournament. <laughs> oh, good so lord, no. Speak. Like, you know, get, <laughs> get like something like eight people or something like that, right? And have them each battle off uh, one by one in a tournament style base, you know? I'm going to go shoot myself at the fault of this. <laughs> that would be a good idea. You know, um, let, 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 new characters. Type, we'll we'll type discuss thing. this later. We'll discuss this yeah. later. Just a night. We'll discuss this later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's really Don't, not like that idea. He's messaging is he? me. Right, that's it. I am muting everything that I have that people can message me on. Well. So, in other words, he won't be able to hear us. Very Hooray! Good in that case, emo is funny looking. F- no, he'll be able to hear us. He's just muting his sounds. Yeah. No, I know. Um, ba-do, ba-do, ba-do. any other games that you guys have been looking into, even? Anybody? Hmm. Not really. I'm, I haven't been. Or how about this? Games that have died that you'd like to see come back. Penis. Yes, that is not a game. Oh, my bad. Well, I guess kind of, but... It is if you play with them. (laughs) I'm just saying. Uh, 
<laughs> I thought of that immediately after I said that. For the strategy buffs, um, the, the so what, um, Ruse was an interesting strategy game. A bunch of Frenchies put it together. Um, it was this kind of real-time strategy game with a very different feel than the others. The reason that I first loved it is because I have a kind of fascination, fixation with postmodern framing devices, and there was something about it that I really liked. It has that wonderful it's thing. It's a fascination with big words. Yeah. And, um... It really does. The, uh... The, uh... The concept... Or, or what, what, what caught my attention was... Uh, this is an aside, but there, you, you're looking at a table, like a World War II war room type table with those, you know, croupette type bent sticks where they would be moving the stick things around, you know, on this looks like a gambling table almost. And that's the that's the battlefield, you know, the tanks are there, the this and the that, um, the dispositions of the troop. And then you zoom in and it, it, you, it becomes the actual battlefield. And that just... That just hit all the right buttons for old known. Uh, so that was interesting. I, you probably know about, maybe you know about Ruse. Then they came out with a Cold War game. And what is it? I have it in Steam. Um, no one knows what I'm talking about. Fine. <laughs> it's a Cold War real-time strategy game. Sorry, guys. Here, I have it it's right here. Hang on. <laughs> Hilarious joke. We're game oh. European escal escalation, with a name with a game like with a name like that. How can you forget it? Um, and that's a really good little war game. Um, a little, again, a very different feel. Um, and anyway, they they that same group has now just come out with um, an addition, sort of like an what appears to be an addition to that game, which is just adding uh, air to it. Um, so that's there now. And like uh, if you like that, what's that? Nothing. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. In answer to in, in answer to James's question, is there anything that's interesting? Yeah, that to me is interesting. It's there. Check it out. Check it, bitches. Check it. And, we'll, and I don't even think I just told you the name, but I will in a moment. Sorry, I was pretty sloppy. I admit. I thought you did. <laughs> Oh, one thing we haven't done. War game Airland Battle is what the the new game is called. So one Before thing, one thing we haven't done for a while in our podcast is talk about retro games, like the old games that we used to like playing and whatnot. Has anybody else uh, thought of or can think of an old retro game that uh, you'd like playing? <laughs> yeah, that game comes out every year. Um, Randy Conquers come out relatively with a relatively recently. Last doors. But no, Command and Conquer. If they did a remake of the original game, I'd probably get it. Oh, yeah. I would love that Command and Conquer. It's freaking amazing. I've got the original Command and Conquer, but uh, it's such a bitch to get it working on Windows 7 with all the patches you have to do. I haven't bothered to be installing it since my last format. One game, I don't know if you'd really class it as retro yet. It is an old game. It used to be on the PlayStation Network. Um, or not Network, but the console. Um, it's called Twisted Metal. It was a game... There was a new one that just came out shortly. A little while ago. Yeah. Was there? Yep. Yeah. It was. A, it is a very fun game. I remember playing it, playing a sweet tooth, going around and freezing everybody. It was. It was definitely a fun game. Do you want a uh, real retro as far as the PlayStation? Does anyone remember Future Cop LAPD? Mm, no. Uh, no one. <laughs> uh, Sorry. You guys suck. It was. Okay, so you're a, a little walkerbot transformer thing, and you can transform into like a little hoverbot so you can move around faster, but your damage is a lot lower. 
Uh, but at the same time, it's sort of... How would you describe it? Real-time strategy? <clears throat> Somewhat. You, you take over little areas and it spawns drones that go over to the enemy's base and they'll fight the enemy's drones as well as shoot the enemy and stuff. And you got to take... I think... I'm, I'm trying to remember how you win, but... I believe you take over these areas and you've got to get as many of those drones into the enemy's base and destroy their little area within a certain time limit. And that was an amazing freaking game. In fact, I'm probably going to try and find an emulation of that and uh, show it on the stream sometime because that was amazing. Another I, game. Go ahead. I wish they would make a new version, but they probably never will, which is unfortunate. Another game that I used to love playing as a kid is we're going back to the Nintendo this year is a Ro RoboCop. <laughs> it was a fairly fun game to play. Mm. Um, there is another one, uh, Blades of Steel. I used to love playing Blades of Steel on the old Nintendo. Um, has anybody here in the chat or here with our casters uh, played nope. Blades of Steel? No, I don't believe I have. No, no, good. How about you, Known? No, I haven't. You've never played Blades of Steel. Hmm. It is a hockey game, of course. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Actually, some of those old hockey games are almost worth playing. It, it was pretty fun. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Um, have any of you played the original Lawnmower Man from Commodore 64? <laughs> Lawn. <laughs> That's such a amusing to me. Um, That's true, Rockham Retro. Rock'em Sock'em Robots 2. Wait, that was a computer game or a plastic? No, nope, that was a PlayStation 1. That was amazing. I remember Rock'em Sock'em Robots from the 70s. Yeah, I had Rock'em Sock'em Robots 2. Good game. The plastic game, right? No, nope, it was the, uh, on the PlayStation 1. It was... I'm talking about... He's uh, talking about the old, old-style push-button... Yeah, and I'm talking about the actual the video game. Yes, and you're wrong. What? <laughs> <Doesn't make> sense. <laughs> um, so, no so one, anyway, no one's played Lawnmower Man. I I don't remember. No. Everyone hates if it was what it was called, but I've played a lawnmower game somewhere, and I forget where it was. But you basically just go along and cut lawn. No, <laughs> you've seen the movie <laughs> Lawnmower Man, right? No. That sounds so what? exciting. You haven't? Because no. you don't cut a law on oh my gosh. Nah. No, but there, uh, there, no, this game that I'm talking about, you're on a lawnmower and you got to cut the lawn and you got to escape these people that are coming at you with rakes or whatever else and you got to try to get away from them and you got to cut oh, all no. the lawn within the map part. No, that's to, not what I was uh, talking about. Oh, and the thing that I, I was forget talking what about game you do uh, insane puzzles, hacking into things. Oh, I was absolutely amazing ah and uh, this was on the c64 so it's really freaking old and here and there it, it was just a freaking amazing game and i would love to play that again virtual version of rock'em sock'em robots oh god this pc pixeler guy it seems to be uh, pretty good at his <laughs> all right i got some new this just in, ladies and gents. So m one of my favorite indie games developers uh, in existence is, can't remember his name, Cryptic Comet. You can go to his website. Pretty much that's the only place to buy his games as far as I know. The place to start there is Armageddon Empires. Um, uh, the, the easiest and smallest of the games is the... Uh, uh, six gun one, the, the gun shooting one called Six Gun Saga. Sullium Infernum is a fantastic game where you play a demon in hell trying to subvert the other demons. Um, and it's bizarre and awesome. But it's really more of a. They all, there's demos for all of these games, man. I'm telling you. These are, this is the dope. They're really hinky. Why do you link rock? <laughs> um, they're really hinky and difficult to understand or that is to say the user interfaces are all screwed up but they're just a, there's just a great game there um 
Anyway, we were talking about Lovecraft earlier, and it is evidently the 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 <laughs> to be released next feature for Cryptic Comet is called the Occult Chronicles, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is looking pretty Lovecraftian, uh, influenced and inspired. You're wrong. You think I'm wrong? No, you just said correct me oh, if okay. you're wrong, so I felt like saying it. It sounds like a good thing to say. But you just now so correct cool. him. But look at this hand-created stuff, man. It's just cool. Here, here's the link. The link is coming to you now. There you are. So, I, it is evident that no one is paying attention to me. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I would have by now you would have been used to that. <laughs> what did you say? I wasn't paying attention. He yeah. put a link to the game that he was talking about in the chat. Oh, he was talking about a game? This is the cool <laughs> one. The cool one. The really cool indie game. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Cryptic Comet. I'm looking at it. Start with Armageddon Empire. Turn-based strategy. Requires some effort. Totally worth it. One of the most fun experiences of learning I've ever had. Oh, yeah? Look shit. Learning again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually looks rather interesting. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It looks interesting. Although it looks You're rather confusing. Does. Yeah, he, I'm telling you, he makes games with like a weird, quirky, difficult interfaces, but... He's not even a very good programmer, but he makes these great games because they're a court, there's a they're a combination they're board games that can only be played on a PC, essentially. Hmm. They're like board games that you need the PC to to have the secrets and to do some of the calculations for it to really work. That's pretty sure. Uh, board game. It's crazy. <laughs> a board game supposed to be played on a board. Well, I know it's a it's a it's paradoxical by nature, is it not? Ah, yeah, stupid game. <laughs> you people are silly. <laughs> That's it. You people are silly. Quite. Quite smart. Well, does anybody else have anything else to talk about? Game-related. Uh, how long have we been running, anyway? Um, I haven't run, I've just been jogging. Actually, I've been... I've been sleepwalking all my way through this. I've been like, huh, You've been what? Foaming in it. You're, you're, you're too fat to have been doing that. I think this is the what? time to close. Well, this... And say goodbye. Thank you, listeners. It's been a pleasure uh, talking past you. We are thoroughly sorry to have been... Communicating with you. We have, appreciate your support. I haven't made you put up with us. What? We're thoroughly sorry that you witnessed this. And come back in like two weeks. Oh, do wait. it again. What? This is the end. We're finishing. I don't know. Are we? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. Apparently. Okay. So apparently this is the end. We're all gonna die. And Mitya is heading is towards it? the earth as we speak. But yes, definitely, viewers, um, come back, join us again within two weeks. Um, we were starting to uh, keep more to our schedule now. Uh, we agreed. All four of us that uh, bi-weekly is a lot easier for us to come up with content. Um, <laughs> needless to say, we were all fairly busy this week. We hadn't had much content to talk about due to the uh, short podcast today. <laughs> um, yeah, but definitely come back, join us again. Um, hopefully next next podcast we will have a little bit more lengthy and some more issues to talk issues to talk about. <laughs> no, no, issues. no, no. <laughs> no issues. <laughs> and hopefully, yeah. And thanks for those of you who actually stuck around. Yeah, yes. I'm surprised we actually uh, had viewers. But um, okay, so yeah. the, the next two like weeks, this. between now and our next podcast, we will we should be doing a lot more streaming throughout the week. Lots of games to come. Um, Kerbal Space Program might possibly be tomorrow. Most likely will be. Um, Far Cry Three later on in the week and we'll have some other stuff here and there. Definitely some more payday coming up, that's for sure. And I have a feeling well what got what do you guys think? Um a bit of Terraria soon? Blacklight too. 
Yeah, black yeah light. sure, up for some temporary. There's only one black light, but yeah, black light re retribution that will be coming up. But um, yeah, we'll do some uh, terraria because we haven't done that in a while, and I need to kill some zombies. Yeah. And somebody needs to show me how to play that bloody game. Oh well, you'll what? learn on the podcast. Uh, podcasts live stream. It'll be fun. You'll die horribly. All right, viewers, we bid a goodbye to you until two weeks. Um, take care. <laughs> Live life to the fullest. Uh, this is your co-host, uh, bidding goodbye, James Bond, 6926. I've been your host, say emo girl. Live long and prosper. Oh, yeah, yeah, tricky. Nah, uh, hey, Star Trek. Anyone else want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Uh, this, is, this is Venom. Goodbye. And good riddance. I mean, what? <gasps> so this has been your podcast for the week of... Mm, what the frick? June 8th? <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> look well at done. the calendar. Try uh, and do it professionally, 8th. and then you're like, wait, what is the date yeah. today? Yeah. I'm not, not... June 8th, 2013. We can bid you goodbye, and uh, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> See you guys.